Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel where we learn the similarities of kanji based Asian languages. Kanji or the Chinese characters as they're called in Japan, kanji, um, is like the Latin of Asian languages. <clears throat> By that I mean, um, you know, how English, French, German find their roots in Latin so do Korean, Japanese, Vietnamese find theirs in the Chinese characters. So it's important to learn these and the meanings behind it also helps us to learn these different Asian languages as they're connected by a common origin. So let's get into it. Okay, so I find it quite motivating to learn new vocabs every day. Uh, from the essay I have written, uh, you can see the link below. Uh, in the blog spot there. Um, it has translation in English, Vietnamese and Korean. I initially wrote it in Korean and then put it through Google Translate to English. Had to edit some to make it flow better. Surprising, the it does a pretty good job, the AI. Uh, Vietnamese, I put it through but didn't um, edit it. Okay, so here is the um, the Vietnamese translate. So let's have a look at our first sentence for today. Um, so I wrote uh, asking, is there such a thing as fate? All right. And um, and then uh, the Google Translate, as you can see, says, Como tu coi la sofa? So why are we looking at this word here, sofa, which means fate? So language analysis table. All right. So this is something I made. Uh, so we're going to focus on these words. So we are learning the Vietnamese word for destiny, which is so fan or so men. All right. According to this uh, Viet Han dictionary, which shows the Chinese origin of Vietnamese words. So we'll focus on so men um, because it shows the linkage here. Uh, as you can see, to the kanji. So, immediately you can see so here. So is shu. Alright, shu means number. Alright, and you can see the similarity between men, men, and ming, life lived. Alright, so the meaning is the number of years lived, finite in fact. Um, also is uh, Ming Yun here, Ming Yun, Ming Yun. Alright, which means uh, constantly moving. Alright, Yun means to move constantly, as in Yun Dong. Uh, so, like planets and stars, constantly moving until its death only to be reborn a million of years later. So that's the meaning behind it. Uh, and to finish it off here, we've got Japanese and Korean. All they did was to swap the um, two, Ming Yun with Yun Ming. All right, so hence the uh, the Japanese pronunciation is Unme. Kore ga watashi no Unme desu. Uh, this is my destiny. Uh, in Korean, unmyeong. Okay, nonunne unmyeong. You are my destiny. All right. So to finally recap, today's word is somme, the Vietnamese word for destiny or fate. In Chinese, ming shu or ming yun. Japanese unme, Korean unmyeong. All right. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, set the alarm, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new word in a new sentence. Tambient.